Well, throughout the month of March, we are highlighting remarkable women here in Central Ohio who make impactful contributions to our local communities each and every day. Women like Sue Zerman, a wife, mother, and grandmother who goes out of her way to provide food, warmth, and companionship for people in need all across the city simply because she can't bear to think of them going one day without. Central Ohio has always been home for Sue Zerman, a mom of three, grandmother of six, and educator for nearly three decades until she retired in 2013, allowing her to spend more time with her family and in the kitchen. I love to cook. I love to bake and I love to feed people. So when the pandemic hit in 2020, when so many were desperate for help, Sue began to think of ways to take her passion from her home to the streets of her hometown. So I had seen on a newscast about a blessing box and didn't know what they were. And so I thought, oh, it's such a cool premise to think that you could put food and people can access it. It's uh, take what you need, leave what you can. And so I went to my next door neighbor and my husband and I said, hey, can you build a blessing box for me? They did and took it to Linden. So several times a week we go over and fill that. And then my sister fills it, my daughter fills it, and then other people in the neighborhood or whoever will put stuff in. And it's helped the neighborhood so much. Sue says she was happy to help in that way, but on a winter day in early 2021, felt she needed to do more. It was just, I still remember, it was a cold, snowy, rainy January day. And I said, I told my husband, I said, I can't stand to think that people are out in this. So I said, I'm going to make some lunches and let's just go down and see who we can find. So we, the first people we found was a man and a woman sitting underneath a um, overhang of a business. She was in a wheelchair and he was sitting on the concrete and they were wrapped in wet blankets. And uh, so we gave him lunches and went home and I made hot chocolate and we got blankets and took it back. So that was, that was the beginning. So we've been doing it since then. Several times a week, filling blessing boxes and outdoor pantries, providing warm clothes and blankets, and creating lasting relationships with the people she meets along the way, seeing them for what they are, people. They are remarkable because I don't know how they survive. And, uh, you know, freezing temperatures, living in a tent, living on a front porch, living underneath, um, behind a business, I think they're remarkable.